The city of Clinton is reminding everyone to look both ways when crossing railroad tracks after a train crashed into a UPS truck. He was responsive when he left the scene yesterday, but we have not had an update since. The city has a no noise ordinance, which restricts the amount of noise throughout residential areas. But Tuesday was an exception to that rule on Wakestead Drive and Clinton Boulevard when several residents in the area heard the horn of the train before the metal on metal collision. So with it being a quiet zone that is enforced 24 hours a day, however, a train can blow their horn in the event they have harmful chemicals on board or in the case of an emergency. If they saw a motorist ahead of time or there's a stranded vehicle or whatever the emergency may be. Although the train did blow its horn, the intersection doesn't have cross arms, which is typical for railroad crossing. It was a private driveway, so there was no cross arms or lights, but there is signage in place and we really don't have a right to do anything to a private residence. Even if it extends to one of our city streets, such as Clinton Boulevard, they still own the right of way to that street. Price says since the noise ordinance has been put into place, incidents like this don't happen too often, but reminds everyone to pay attention while crossing railroads. We just want to reiterate the importance of railroad crossing safety to stop, look both ways, use caution, don't go around crossing arms if they are down and never try to beat a train. And we just think that's important to reinforce in times like this. In Clinton, Crystal Tismi, 16 WPT News. Oh, <laughs>